What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMM, aka just two more minutes, aka the freaking 10. Back again with another video and kicking off Free For All Friday with a song that I, I, I can't even imagine the direction they're going with Nano War Steel. <laughs> and then I noticed she was a gargoyle. Y'all know I love these guys. Their, their sense of humor, their lyrical ability uh, is just fascinating to me. Um, to to have the jobs that they have, but still have this wicked sense of humor, um, I think is kind of a unique blend, right? A lot of the times you hear about astrophysicists and some of the other jobs these guys have, and you kind of get <laughs> that Sheldon Cooper type of vibe, um, uh, of just this dry, straight humor, right? But these guys are just brilliantly funny and creative and i've i've loved listening to them um you know i loved reacting to uranus um see you can't even say that with the straight face I, I absolutely love these guys so i have the lyrics to this one there is nothing absolutely more than i want to do on this friday then react to these guys and kick off free for all Friday. So with that being said, let's check these guys out. All right, we got the lyrics, we got everything. Let's go. Oh, acoustic. lady whose nickname was Sharon Stone. We shared many common interests, e.g. medieval architecture. So I took her out for a fancy dinner. Her statue's beauty took my breath away. A maniac, a maniac. Uh, uh, it, yeah, I've, it, if you haven't heard the song Maniac, right? Uh, they always throw those little plays into uh, in tributes to other bands, and I like that. Okay, let's tackle these lyrics and try not to laugh. Now, I should have done this. I should have just used Nano War Steel on my Try Not to Laugh channel. That, uh, that other channel that I closed down because I would have lost every freaking time. Love these freaking guys. Picking up teens in a twilight chat room. Listening to Adele on my own. One day I met an attractive lady whose nickname was Sharon Stone. We shared many common interests. Medieval architecture. But so I took her out for a fancy dinner. Her statuesque beauty took my breath away. And then I noticed she was a gargoyle. I should have checked the fine print long ago. And then I noticed she was a gargoyle. She was a maniac, maniac, and a gargoyle. Wow. <clears throat> Hi, freaking love these guys by the way the music is freaking great that's what I, I think you know a lot of people get distracted by the the lyrics right and, and kind of forget how talented musically these guys are right there if that acoustic was freaking beautiful i i love acoustic like if i was reviewing only acoustic 
I mean, that would be like, oh my God. Maybe I'll, maybe we should do that as a second channel. No, y'all keep me busy enough on here. And I love it. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm having the time of my life with you guys right now. All right, let's see what else he's, uh, I, Okay, I want to at least get through the guitar solo before I went to the next one. This is so out there. It's funny, but the music itself, if you take away the lyrics, like if you were just to take out the lyric track of this and the vocal track of this, you would have, I mean, if you were just listening to the music, your mind would be just, you would be taken away uh, at the beauty of the music. I mean, it's beautiful. These guys. How could you be such a retarded moron? Didn't you check her profile before? I just read MILF in the About Me section. I didn't get that the M stood for monument. Now, the way he did that, because when I saw it, I was like, okay, you can't really get that to, to rhyme. And he didn't, obviously, but... It was just the way he said it that was hilarious. Well, it's it's usual to fall in the trap. Chat with an angel and go out with a crap. But tell me, what do you mean by gargoyle? Was she wrinkly? Was she fat? No, I'm telling you she was a freaking gargoyle. The thing you see on Batman Begins. She was exactly what you would see if you Google gargoyle. And instead of boob, she... Got two black bricks of stone. I, I... <laughs> and then he noticed that she was just a gargoyle. He thought her avatar was just an avatar. And then he noticed that she was a gargoyle. And I also had to pay her cab, or excuse me, pay her cab back. To Notre Dame. The absurdity of this is what makes this musically, uh, uh, that makes this brilliant. And the music behind it is so good that it, I don't know that you really care about, you know, the, the rhyme scheme of stuff rhyming or not. I mean, just the absurdity of this is what makes these guys freaking brilliant. These are guys, it, like, to me, like, if you take, actually, I'll give that for the closing argument, or for my closing thoughts. Let's keep going. And as it 
drove back home that night Her tender smile still in my eyes Left just confusion in my mind Is it true love or just a crush on 12th century French culture? Darling, after all this time, how do you feel about me? Yeah, me too. Oh my god, these guys. These guys just crack me up. <laughs> That opening guitar was just amazing. Okay. Let me try to get through this. But as I drove back home that night, her tender stars, excuse me, her tender snout still in my eyes, left confusion in my mind. Is it true love or is it just a crush on a 12th century French sculpture? And then I noticed that I liked the gargoyles. I'll be jerking off on Batman forever, and now I notice that I like gargoyles, because I got Maniac, Maniac, for gargoyles. I also like Rolling Stones. <laughs> the absurdity, okay. <laughs> There's two pieces of this, because if you take it from a pure lyric sitting on top of music piece, right? There's so much that doesn't fit lyrically, rhyme scheme wise, you know, <laughs> pattern, tempo, any of it, right? But that's the beauty of these guys is that's where the absurdity part kicks in um, and you can't help but just enjoy it, right? Because that's their point is just to enjoy it. So. God, these guys are just so brilliant. I mean, I like the other songs better just because, uh, you know, if I was to critique this, the flow does just as a, 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 even when I write spoofs, I don't write it to where the lyrics, um, you know, have to be like spoken in that sense uh, of not fitting a certain pattern or tempo or beat. It just throws me off. So that always just gets me. But with that being said, that's not even their point, right? They just go out there and they put the lyrics out there and they just perform what they know. And that to me is what makes them entertaining is they just don't follow any of the nor normalities that you would necessarily see. Obviously, they've got, you know, they, they do throw in, you know, their own time, their you know measurements of time and things like that with the music. But but they don't necessarily try to fit anything else. And that's the beauty of what they do. And they throw in these throwbacks, you know, like the she's a maniac, a maniac. If you haven't heard maniac, you know, um, just like in, I believe in Uranus, there's a little nod 
to Motley Crue at the end. But then there was another piece of it, I forget which what part it was, that was a nod uh, to another song. If it was Zombies or something else, I think that may have been the other one. <clears throat> so I love those little throwbacks, and that always keeps me guessing, okay, what are they going to do next? I'm going to cover a lot of these guys, so don't think this is the last one. I have uh, quite a few. Um, the Ragnarok is the next one I'm going to do. Um, today is a holiday for me, so and my son's school is done early, so I'm probably going to record a lot more to try to start building up that archive, and, and these are going to be ones that, that I definitely get. So let me give you my final thoughts because I have some thoughts on these guys. Here's here's the brilliance of these guys. I, I was thinking about this is that, you know, these guys are a lot like the Weird Al of metal, right? Now, Weird Al will take a, spa, a song and spoof it. And my apologies. I should I should start showing y'all local time. It's 4.13 in the morning, so I'm not yawning, just, it's not the middle of the day, it's 4 a.m. or 4.15 a.m. Um, these guys are like the the Weird Al uh, of metal, because, you know, while Weird Al does do some originals, he spoofs a lot of songs, but these guys are different in the sense of... Weird Al follows a lot of the rhyme patterns, right? Where he does do a, you know, barn yarn, you know, type of rhyme. But these guys just twist and turn it to where you don't know what they're going to say next. And even when you're reading the lyrics, right, and following the, the closed caption or, you know, going back and forth, you see that line coming next to you and you're like, what are they going to do with that, right? How can they fit that in? And then they just do it and you're like, oh, okay. And for me as a lyricist, it can drive me crazy because I'm looking at it of like, okay, rhyme scheme and all these things, right? To the average music listener, they're just going and, and listening to how they fit it in and they're not thinking about those things. And I've had to really take a step back with these guys and 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 remove that piece of trying to always look for that and just enjoy it. And that's what I love is these guys just make you, for me, and I don't want to say for everybody, but for me, it, it, these guys just kind of make you forget about everything else around you because you, you're just so entrenched in what they're going to do and say next. Like, this was freaking absurd, right? But I love it. I freaking love these guys. I really do. They, they... Who else is going to sing a song about I love a gargoyle? And have, and be able to, to, to film a video having this gargoyle and carrying it around and putting it in chairs and staring at them, making out with it, you know, acting as if you're making out with a, a wall or a tower. I, I love these guys. That's all I got to say. What a way to kick off the morning, even at 4.15 in the morning. First song uh, of many today. I'm spoiling y'all today with, with quite a few videos. Um... But these, uh, yeah, these guys, what a way to kick off the day. Like, it, it it gets me laughing, gets me in a really light mood. I've got some really, what I'm hoping are some really great songs by some great um, bands. Some I've covered, some I haven't covered. So that'll do it. So with that being said, guys, let's just close this one out that we're kicking off a free-for-all Friday with some shameless notifications, as I call them. If you like that video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the song. Let me know more. Uh, I do have the Ragnarok one, and I think one or two more listed, but definitely keep these guys coming with, with more songs so I can grab those and throw them into the queue. And if you like the content, right? This is Free For All Friday. Free For All Friday is all about the bands that I may have listened to, but they're not in that main set of the Nightwish, the Sabaton, the Ginger, the Warning. They're not in that, right? That's what Fridays are dedicated to. It's just that free-for-all Friday where I cover bands like this and 
um, Alter Bridge and Prophets, of, uh, Prophets, Poets of the Fall, and, and all of these other ones that that y'all have introduced me to, and then some that I haven't even listened to yet. Right? That's what Free for All Friday is about. That's where we're going. So if you like this content, hit that subscribe button. Send me a request. I have a entire queue of over a hundred requests right now that I'm trying to knock out. And that is because of y'all's hard work of saying, hey, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. And it's probably actually more than that, simply because y'all will give me an album title as well. So include all of those. So yeah, I'm probably sitting at 150 requests, which is plenty of content, right? I've got plenty of content for quite some time. And y'all's continued support of seeing my subscriber, you know, numbers starting to just really jump up. It is it reassures me that I found what I thought, and that was something that I enjoy doing, something that people like watching me for, and I truly feel complete. When I say that, I don't say that lightly in the sense of, oh, you know, this, I just want y'all to know. I, no, like, y'all give me a sense of completeness in my life that uh, from a, a creativity, from a professional, all of those things that I've been looking for after 23 years in a corporate environment, I found. So when I say that I love this and what I do as a reactor, I love it. And I appreciate and love each and one of y'all. That's going to do it, guys. We'll kick this one off. Until then, remember, if someone asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one, don't ask for two, and certainly don't ask for five. If you ask for five, I'm going to find a gargoyle and I'm going to send them after you. Always ask for just 10 more minutes. I'll see you guys later.